So I'm Catherine Murphy. I'm a policy advisor at Amnesty International and I'm based in London. I'm originally from Scotland. Um, and I've been working over the last three years on um, the human rights of sex workers and how we can best realise the human rights of sex workers. We've spent three years researching the issues. We've, we went to four different countries and looked in depth at the issues that sex workers face in those countries. We went to Norway, we went to Papua New Guinea, Argentina and Hong Kong. So we tried to go to a, you know very different countries in very different geographic regions with different legal models. And we spoke to sex workers in those countries and we spoke to academics and, and, and police officers and a whole wide range of stakeholders about sex workers human rights and the challenges that sex workers face um, and we've seen very different issues in those countries but we also saw very similar issues in those countries so we saw harassment by police was a feature in all those countries um, discrimination and stigma were, were issues in all those countries um, and violence and difficulty in accessing justice and getting support from the police if you experience violence as a sex worker was an issue that faced sex workers in all of those different countries and different regions. So we saw some differences, um, but we saw really similar themes that emerged. Um, and we came to the conclusion that one of the reasons for that was criminalization of sex work. And that was one of the main barriers to the realisation of sex workers' human rights in many countries across the globe. For Amnesty International, from our perspective, we think that um, there is a really strong place for human rights analysis and human rights arguments in defending sex workers um, and ensuring that the, the situation that sex workers face in many countries is improved. And that can mean lots of different things. So it can mean we argue for decriminalisation so that sex workers are not criminalised and penalised and pursued and harassed by the police. It can also mean that we argue for better access to education, better access to welfare and economic support and an economic safety net so that less people feel that they have to rely on sex work because they don't have other choices. We also can make arguments um, to support the groups that we see that are overrepresented in sex work. So poor women, transgender people who face enormous challenges in many countries in terms of the discrimination they face in the workplace. Sex work can be one of few options in terms of accessing labour and being able to do a job. All of those problems, we can argue for solutions on a human rights basis. So we believe the human rights framework can be a really strong source of support for sex workers in claiming their rights um, and we're really glad that Amnesty International can now be there fighting with sex workers to improve the situation that they face in many countries, which is often very, very difficult and very isolating. So we hope to be able to support them much more now.